everyone. We are going to do this little um, turtle mold that can, actually it's not all that little really it's kind of big about probably six inches long maybe five inches from here to here I would guess about and very shiny on the inside which should make something really pretty. So what I'm going to do today is I think I'm going to take a little bit of my mica powder here in, do I want him to be brown or green? Maybe, I don't, actually I don't think I have a dark green. Okay, so we're going to use this mica powder here. And uh, let's resin in mica powder in coffee. I am using Naked Fusion Diamond Clarity for my, for my um, epoxy resin. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my little paintbrush. I can figure out what to do with it. Here it is. And I'm going to just dust some on these little spots inside of his feet. And, I mean, his, yeah, both legs, okay? And perhaps his tail. Looks like I already have some on there. Might as well we'll do that now. <laughs> and, uh... I got this mold on Amazon. I'll try to post a link for you if you're interested. That started. And I'm just going to do just a little bit. Oops. It's not a little bit. That's kind of a lot. But I'm just going to mix it up in there. Kind of like that. Give it a chance um, for the mica powder to dry before you put the resin in there. I have to go over it a couple times. It's kind of blobby this way, huh? It's not really what I wanted to have happen. So, I might have to wait for some of this mica powder, I mean, the some of the alcohol to dissolve. I'm going to attempt to get some of this extra mica powder off of my turtle up here. I'm just going to turn it upside down and shake it and see if that helps over my garbage bag here. Okay, actually, that actually did help quite a bit, actually. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I see a little bit here on the edge, a little more than I want here on the edge, so I'm just going to take my baby wipe, get some of that off of there, a little bit of extra is okay, a lot extra is a little too much. There. Okay, so his shell is going to be... Very pretty, I think. Okay, here we go. So, now what we're going to do, take this, my resin in here. Oh, this is getting very warm. Definitely needs to get used very quickly here. Sometimes I get carried away and then I forget that I've got resin sitting. And it's getting very thick. Very thick and sticky. So... See if I can get this. I just want to do a translucent color. I think I am not going to do alcohol inks today. It's okay. I am going to do a little bit of teal. A couple drops in there. Let's see if I can stir it. It's even stirrable. Come on. Don't get too. Don't get too hot on me yet here. Pour a little more in there. Thin it up a bit. This one's not quite it's so hot. In that bigger cup. Let me stir it up here real quick. 
sometimes you can kind of help to cool it down a little if you add a little more resin that's a little cooler. doing kind of a oceany blue color here. It's going to be the top of the shell. Definitely thick. Definitely thick resin. <laughs> yeah, I waited a little too long. going to do now is I'm going to take this other resin and just pour it right in on top. It's kind of a see-through. So I don't want that though. I want one that is see-through. I'm going to use this one that doesn't have any color added on this stick. Hoping to add some shells or something to the bottom of this guy. We'll have to see how that goes. Or maybe some sand instead, but we'll see. Okay, boy, that was just running in at the time there. And uh, I'm making a mess as I go. <laughs> this up as I go. I usually I always try to clean these things up as I go. But when that resin starts getting thick like that, it um, makes a sticky mess really quickly. So when that happens, it's important to clean it up quickly. Okay? Get that off all over my... <laughs> Oh my gloves, I got it literally everywhere. I actually am going to blow this over with a heat gun just really lightly. I don't care if I have some bubbles, but I don't really want bubbles at the top. Um, when I turn it over and I demold it, I don't want there to be holes there in the bubbles. So I am going to run my heat gun over this. And I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do there for the eyes and his little nose before I do the rest of this, okay? And then I've got to mix up some more resin and um, I'll be back when I get that done. Okay, so I'm back. I've mixed up a little more resin and I've brought out a few things that I have um, that are a possibility for this turtle. This is just some white sand. This is some natural colored sand. And I've got these Kind of crushed seashells. They're flat. This actually came from Pier 1, which they're not here anymore. They've closed their stores since I bought this, but um, I'm sure that Amazon or your craft store should have something like this. And what I've decided to do is I'm going to pour some of these into this little solo cup here. Okay. And I think what I want to do, anyway, is um, use some of the shells in the feet and the head, okay? So I want to pour just a tiny bit of resin into each one of the limbs here. Just enough to coat it so that I can put the sh start placing the shells, probably kind of like a puzzle piece here. And then all the little areas. I might have a little too much. I don't know, but I can scooch it out into the body part if I need to, if I've got too much. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to 
just a little bit there. Okay, so I'm going to take these. There's two sides. Like this is, we call it abalone or abalone or something. I'm going to stick that in there. Actually, you know what? That, I want it the other way. I want it this way. Both sides are pretty. A small shell. Maybe that'll go good right up in here. I'm just going to take all these shells and see if I can place, find little places for them in my turtle. Okay, I think that's about it for the shells for now. I might be able to put a little bit more in there by the head. I'm gonna get some resin in there. Let's see. Yeah, that first <laughs> layer was definitely hot, so it is already setting up. shells. I'm going to have to take a little craft stick and or my little coffee stir sticks maybe because they're thinner and get in there um, into the tail there and make sure I can get it all the way into the tip so that I don't have a big air bubble. stir stick here. Let's see if I can push that all the way into the very tip. Sometimes you have to kind of like kind of spread the part to get the resin in there. All the way in there. Okay. Looks like it went in. Hmm, not sure what I feel about this. Looks like this little shell here looks like it's sticking out, but it seems like it's flush when I go over it with my stick. So I'm going to leave it in. Okay, and maybe now I've got more resin in there. I'm going to try to place a few more shells into the little head here. It's too pointy. Okay. So, I think I might go and let this cure. I'm trying to decide. I still don't know if I want to put a little sand in here or not. If I want to layer the white sand underneath the shells and things. I'm not sure we'd really see it. Or if maybe I just want to finish it off with the resin. What do you guys think? I wish you could tell me. But, let's see. Well, I think what I'll do... I don't want to do all the shells. I don't want to do shells. So, hmm. Okay, well, I, you know what? I think I am going to let this cure, and then I'll decide then um, while I'm waiting to see what I want to do for the next layer. Okay? And I'll be back. All right, everyone. We are back with our turtle. We're going to do the next step of um, what I'd like to do with him. He's all cured the rocks everything in there or the rocks the shells everything is cured they're not moving anywhere so far I'm kind of happy with this translucent kind of aqua color so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a really thin layer of clear resin uh, just over his body part here kind of spread this out I don't want it very thick because I'm going to still, I decided I think I am going to come back in and cover um, his hole underneath with white sand and then hopefully even have enough room after that to put a clear layer over the top of it so you don't have that um, 
just the resin sand feel on the bottom of it. I've said before, I don't, I don't like the rough feeling glitter and I don't like the rough feeling like sand of, you know, <laughs> I guess just a little cork. But I always prefer a smooth, smooth feel. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby Stickabilities. And these seashells are pretty realistic looking seashells. I'm also going to use a few of these. Okay, I don't know if you can really see these. These are little tufts. They're like little grassy tufts. Do you see that they're, um, they're actually kind of fuzzy little guys. Okay, so I'll probably have to dip those in resin before I turn them upside down. And they come in a pack like this from Amazon. And what they are is they are found in the model train section of, um, of the crafting part. So um, this is actually, you can find all kinds of things. They also have these in green, but I have used all those on other projects. So anyway, yeah, if you are all looking for some new ideas, check out the model train section on Amazon for the little accessories and things. You can find all kinds of things that you can use in your resin. So I think I'm going to just pick out two shells. I have real shells here, but I'm only working with, gosh, out of maybe a sixteenth of an inch. So I really don't have room for anything more than a a sticker but I think it'll still show through just fine and then I'll have the white sand behind it so I'm trying to think what I'll want here maybe maybe I'll do um, hmm, I don't know what do you guys think I think they're all kind of cool looking but I want two different kinds of shells so maybe maybe Let's see. Maybe this one. I don't know. And I'm going to use my tweezer here to stick it in there. Kind of maybe this way. And since that was kind of a rolly shell, then maybe like a little clamshell or something under there. Maybe this one, maybe this big one. Stick this one over here. I think this is translucent enough, this aqua teal color, that these should shine or show through just fine. And these I just want to do just a couple of little clumps. These are have sticky backs. I was gonna dip these, weren't wasn't I? I'm gonna dip it in my resin here really quickly. So I don't kind of, so I don't get air bubbles underneath those. Can I put that in there? Oops. And it's going to go right there. And I want to make sure that I'm putting these in the open and not, not right behind, um, not right behind one of the what do you call it, the mica powder lines I did on a shell, because I want them to hopefully kind of show through. Just do a couple of clumps here and there. Dip it in the resin. I have to hurry up and, and wipe, my, <laughs> wipe my tweezers off every once in a while here so they don't have hard resin on them. Okay. One of these, maybe, maybe one of these will have a clump of three, so it doesn't look too even on these sides. Maybe like that. Get the bubble. Okay. Wipe this off. 
think that's all I'm going to do for this. Let it cure. And, um, and then I'm going to come back and I'll do the thin layer of the white sand over it. So, yeah, this will be, this is our next step. Then the next one will be the sand. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, we're back to do our next step on the turtle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put some clear resin in here in my little sole cup. And um, let's see if I can get this all out. This is going to be probably just barely enough to do what I would like to do here, if that. <laughs> I might have to make, mix up some more. But uh, this is what I had to work with right now that kind of needs to get used. So I thought this is a good time to try it on the turtle. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to take some of my white colored sand. I decided that would be the prettiest with the colors I'm using here with the kind of the aqua colored water. Oops, sorry, there went the scotch tape. Okay, so I'm going to take just probably like maybe a couple spoonfuls. I don't want this. It's going to be thick, but I've got to be able to spread it because like I said I'm working with kind of a limited amount here. That's already pretty thick, just like that. So I'm going to pour it in, and I can always add maybe a little layer of sand over the top of it if I need to. didn't go very far. About as far as I figured it would. Not enough to do the legs, but enough to get started here on the body section. Just spread it all out here to the sides. And this is about... Now, with this layer of sand, this is making him just about flush with the top of the coaster. I mean the coaster, the top of the mold. So let's see here, I might be able to even get some more out into here, sink into my head here a bit, even if I can just scrape out here a little bit of the resin, I can just dump a little sand in there, and then I can shake off of him what doesn't stick. Kind of like you would glitter, you know? Just spread it out. So at least everywhere is getting a bit. This is the side I think that I have not done. Did I get some all the way out here? I did. This is definitely a thin layer, okay? definitely thin, which is kind of what I wanted so that it wouldn't go over the top and I still may have enough to come back here and do a, a clear layer over the top of this. Okay, so everywhere's covered. Yeah, the tail, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my sand going to sprinkle it over this. Little brush that I use. Okay, I can see that it's sinking in. Because some of the parts that I'm covering are going back and they're starting to look kind of wet again. I'm willing to put in as much as it's going to sink. Okay, I think that's going to be about right. Now I'm going to let this 
um, sit for a bit. And then if I, if I turn it on to its side right now um, to get some of the excess sand off, my resin that I poured in there is still wet. And so probably the whole thing would just kind of start sliding off the back end. And I really don't want that to happen. So I am going to just let that um, sit here for a little bit. And when it starts to cure, then I can shake off the excess. Okay, and I see the sand is still kind of sinking in and that's great too. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, everybody, we are back to demold the turtle. He is just a tiny bit finger sticky here and there, but he's um, pretty much ready to take out of here. Okay, not too worried about that. So I'm excited to see how he turned out. We did get the, I did turn him upside down a couple hours ago and gave him a good couple pats on the back to get some of the loose sand off of there. And, and if I need to, I can maybe do that again if needed. Paper towels down here. If I do need to take care of some of that, look extra sand. I've never tried this mold before, so I'm kind of excited to see how this turned out. I know a lot of people are doing different kinds of turtles and um, things like that, but it's always fun to put your own spin on things and see what you can do with it, huh? Okay, let's get his little tail out of there. Yeah, his tail's tail's still a little bit soft. I don't know if you notice that the, the more shallow the part of your project, the longer it takes to cure. It's the thicker parts that, that um, cure the quickest. So, yeah. Okay, Let's see how this turns out. Here we go. Let's see. I think I'll hold him like this. Oh, there he is. So... What do you think? He turned out pretty. We had the mica powder that we did in the very beginning. The shells are underneath the mica powder. So you can't see them maybe too clearly, but it definitely gives it some background um, in there underneath so it's not just see-through, you know. Gives it some different color, really, really oceany looking colors in there, and then down in here, you can see the um, little tufts of grass that we put in, and we can see the shells. I don't know if you can get a really good look at it. It might be hard to see it on camera, but you can actually see that it looks like, <laughs> honestly, it looks like that his shell is full of water and that we're looking down in there to the sand with the shells in there. So I don't know if you can get a good look at that or not, but it turned out really just amazing really happy with it. It was a lot of fun to do. He's um, probably about a maybe quarter of an inch, I would say, a quarter to a half an inch here um, at his edge, all the way around the edge of his body there. I don't plan to do anything else to him as far as like any kind of edging work. There are some little designs here in his shell. Um, I'm not going to do anything with that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to let him set him over there and let him probably finish curing out. And yeah, pretty happy with him. I think he turned out amazing. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I'll post the link to the mold and what I've used down in the comments. So let me know what you think. Have a good night.